hello everyone welcome to coding with shihab we already discuss lesson 1 2 3 4 now we are discussing lesson 5 we pick some we already solve one problem count div count divisibility and the next problem is genomic range query let's start at first we should try to understand the problem what we have to solve a dna sequence can be represented as a string consisting of the letters a c g and t which correspond to the types of successive nucleotides in the sequence each nucleotide has an impact factor which is an integer nucleotides of types a c g and t have impact factors of 1 2 3 and 4 respectively that means according to this key the value will be this then what we have to do you are going to answer several queries of the form what is the minimal impact factor that means we should find the minimal value or factors nucleotides and for example consider a string is this one and array is p q such that there is two arrays and we will compare this array we will take to this value from p index number zero to from q index number zero then two and four it will count consider as the index like zero one two three four five so first one is two to four so 0 1 2 3 4 g to c and there is 2 c so what is the c value c value is 2 what is the g value g value is 3 so as we can see 3 and 2 and they are asking we should find out the minimal impact so the minimal impact is 2 3 and 2 2 is the minimal and if we will check p equal to index index number 1 and q index number 1 the value is 5 here also the value is 5 so it's t t value is t value is 4 so both are same that's why this is the starting index point this is the ending index point starting ending starting ending so we should find out this way nucleotide value let's try to do it i already solved this problem now i am trying to solving with you or sometime or i should take this code and I test here what will be the good way because it's little bit big code we need explanation so i think i should take this code and explain properly this is the code i will explain step by step and with the problem line by line at first i take one new array the variable name is result inside this result i define p length p values later i took another array 
the data type is char because we will check this integer with index number that's why we take its char value char value is the variable name and this is the char arrays and string is s after that this is the method we this is the method call after that i take another 2d array because we should check char value character value and also the for example this is key now for a simplicity for understanding we can define it as a key we should check key value with this according to the key what will be the value that's why we took 2d array and first one it's 4 we define because 1 2 3 4 so it will be 4 values after that we define char value dot length this is the row this is the column it obvious to define this block then this one so char value dot length this one plus one it will take it will count one more that's why after that i used for loop data type int and inside the for loop i am checking the character value length it will check which string we will give after that if i is greater than zero if i value will be 1 then we will again check this in inner for loop or nested for loop you can say and inner for loop we define it will count from 0 to less than 4 and it will go cumulative answer that's why we are checking at first j value after that we are incrementing i value at first it will be it will count j from 0 and i plus 1 it will count from 1 and i like a string index number it will read after that cumulative answer j i and i inside this we are defining this value later we are using one switch statement to find out the value according to the character according to the string later we will convert it in the character that's why we use char value i then case a if it will be a searching value will be a then cumulative answer at first it will be zero from here it will be zero and after that i plus one plus 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 means it will be it will increment one by one when we will get this value inside the string according to the same way c g and t after that we should use another for loop inside this for loop we are defining phi value and the phi array is length on how many element you define inside this field it will count it will check this integer value after that again we are checking the those value and we are we use condition to check is properly if cumulative answer j i plus one minus cumulative answer j p i greater than zero if the value minus this value greater than zero then result will be i equal to j plus one 
after that the statement will be break we should use break statement it's important otherwise it will check continuously later finally this is the we are returning result now let's go try to run it is it working or not we have to check yeah it's working fine with this example test and according to the problem statement it uh, it's fulfilled all the condition let's try to submit and check what is the answer it's evaluating the code and it will give us output wow nice we get 100% result according to the correctness and performance and test score is 100 so i hope everyone is clear about this problem and solution if anyone want to be clear more please comment below and i will try to explain it more easy way for you take care bye see you in my next video